is Sam. I am an alumni from the International TIFO Academy. I'm here teaching ESL in South Korea, and this weekend I'm going to be taking you to the Olympics with me. Are you excited? To prepare for going to the Olympics, I am watching curling, of course. I've got a couple clothes and things packed. I've got the mascot and some gear that I got last weekend when I was there, as well as information stuff. I have a printout of the Olympic shuttle bus schedules, my tickets to the Heineken Holland house, and some info on the other country houses, which are super, super cool. Um, and of course, I've got a bag of snacks. So tomorrow morning, um, three friends of mine and I are going to be waking up at about 4.30, 4.20 a.m. And we're going to drive all the way to Pyeongchang, uh, which is where the Olympics are happening, because I'm going to go see snowboarding Big Air finals. After Big Air, I have tickets to cross-country skiing, uh, so we'll also show you that uh, as well as whatever houses are around that area. Um, hopefully, there'll be a lot of cool stuff to show you guys. I'm really excited. So a little bit about me, um, I've been in South Korea for about a year and a half now, teaching at the same school uh, slash hagwon that I work at. It's an after school program, so I work from about 2 to 8 most days. And I happen to have a pretty unique situation where I live right above my school, um, two, two floors up, but still right above. So I'm going to take you downstairs and show you my classroom real quick, and then some videos I took earlier in the day of some of my students. My hagwon is pretty small, um, our classes are only about six students each, but each of our classroom names are named after Ivy League colleges, which I find pretty funny. My classroom happens to be the only university name that is misspelled, um, which I find funny, but my classroom's pretty simple, a nice big desk, TV computer, and a whiteboard. I mainly teach elementary school students, but I also have a kindergarten class every day and a middle school class twice a week. But we do a lot of fun stuff, um, mainly reenacting plays, which is super fun. I'll show you a short clip. My students do a reenactment of this book called Where's My Hat? Are we ready? Three, two, one, go! Where's my jacket? Can you see it on Tina? Yeah. So not all of my students do reenacting plays or books. Um, my higher level students, they do a debate class where we pick a topic um, from the book that we have and we debate whether or not it should happen. For instance, right now, my students are debating whether or not we should eat bugs in place of animals to help save our environment. Needless to say, they're not too fond of that idea, but it's interesting to get them thinking about things in a different way pretty much the basics of my job. It's really not super hard. But I'm gonna go to bed here pretty soon. It's a little after 10 p.m. and I have to get up super early. But feel free to shoot me any messages with questions that you guys have. Hi guys, it's really early in the morning and we are about to drive to the Olympics. Oh. Say hi! Olympics! 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 <laughs> Alright, so we are at our first rest stop. This is... Matt in the hat. This is... Meg. And I'm Sam. We are on our way to Young... No, not Young Young. Pyeongchang. To the Olympics! Woo! Olympics! And this is Stephanie. She's finally back from the bathroom. Hi. We are... It is now currently about what time? Um, Almost 8. eight. Our first event is at 10. We've got maybe an hour, hour and a half left of driving. So, we should make it. Got my ticket to snowboarding Big Air and walking to the venue now. I am here at the Big Air competition with my friend Tony. Tony, say hi. Woo! Hi! There's a lot of people here and we are waiting for another run. I missed the first three, but we're gonna get some more. US Olympians coming on next. Woo woo! Chris Corning. Here he comes.
Okay guys, so Big Air is over. I'm not gonna tell you who won in case you wanna watch it yourself, but US did medal. Not gonna tell you which one, but US did medal. Cross country skiing for a little bit and then maybe I'll check out some country houses. Catch me soon. Hey guys, so I am back at my car. I put on another hat with Suhorong on it, another scarf, and I am currently eating snacks because I'm hungry. But Big Air was super awesome. I'm glad you guys could join me. Next up is cross country skiing, and it's got about an hour and a half before that starts. So I'm gonna stay warm and film a belly. Um, shoot me any questions if you guys have it. Almost made it to the cross-country skiing venue. So while cross country skiing is going on, they're not at the stadium right now. Um, I want to introduce you guys to my friend Max. Say hi. Max is super awesome. Uh, she she is also a teacher. Hi, I'm Max. I also teach in Korea. I write about chocolate and travel. You can follow me at Dave's account. Here they come again. It's true. I'm in the stadium. come in and change out their skis part way through. I'm not sure if that's what he's doing. But a couple of them have done it. It's like a pit stop for NASCAR but with skis. Woo! So Matt, what do you love most about teaching in Korea? Uh, I love meeting so many people who are so willing to help someone who's unfamiliar, let's say, with their culture. And especially in a place where it's so different, that is invaluable. Which one's your favorite? Stopping at the Metal House for some lunch. It's a nice atmosphere. Okay guys, so we are about to head to the bus stop that my friends need to get back to Seoul and the weather is not looking super great. Hopefully it's good to drive in. Here we have the United States Olympic team house. Unfortunately it is not open for public viewing only for the athletes so I'm at the Yongpyong ski hill right now. I'm gonna go check out a couple other country it has been a lot of fun showing you guys around. I hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to follow me um, at Veritas Be Told here on Instagram. Uh, and I will show you what I'm up to tomorrow on my personal feed. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys the Swiss house and the, uh, there's one other house here, I don't know. Um, but hopefully I can show you guys that before I sign off for the night. So this is the house of Switzerland. I'm walking up on, this is another house. I'm not sure what it is yet. We'll see when I get to the front of it. Um, but there's supposed to be a big party at the Swiss house tonight because uh, a, a number of their athletes won medals today. Um, but yeah, here's the Swiss house. Very cool. That's the ski lifts. And then this here. Oh, I don't know what house this is. Let's check. So this looks to be the Sweden house. 
um, sponsored by PNG. I'm gonna go inside and see what's happening there before hitting up the Swiss house. So here is the Sweden house. They are currently having a sale on some stuff. The PNG house was actually the one for Olympic athletes from the US and I couldn't get in. Boo hoo! But I'm gonna check this one out. They've got nice fur on their chairs. Of course, Sweden. Uh, just a little bit of stuff, big TVs, some lounging areas, not too, too much. Not really sure, but they've got a campfire. I'm happy. I might just stay here for a bit and watch this competition. Pretty cool setup they got here. So here's the front view of the U.S. American house. Uh, a lot of the athletes and their families are in there watching the meddling and eating uh, dinner, I guess. I see a buffet thing. I'm not invited, but oh well. Alright guys, well those are the country houses out here at Yongpyeong. Um, I'm going to head over to the Gunnan Olympic Park area to see if I can get into the Canada House. There's supposed to be a nice concert uh, there happening. I really hope you guys have enjoyed uh, me showing you the Olympics here in Pyeonghang, uh, South Korea. Please follow me at Veritas Be Told and I hope to see you guys there tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm here at the Canada House. This is going to be my last post of the night. I am watching the men's hockey bronze game. It's Canada versus the Czech Republic. I hope you guys had fun today and uh, definitely follow me tomorrow on my Insta.